Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing a beginner combination to Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones. I thought I would go in a little classic rock like direction I guess for this Halloween. I hadn't done this song yet. I absolutely love this song. My favorite version of the song is actually by Sierra. It is super cool. If you haven't heard that yet check it out. I think it's actually from the Queen of the Damned soundtrack but I don't remember. But um, this is a guitar finger style version. I'll have the link to it down below. It's super cool. And this is good not just for Halloween month, but like year round. So I hope you have fun with it. It is a very, very beginner combination. So it's on the slower side. So it's really good to like help work on remembering choreography and just to get these steps in. So it is a short and sweet combination because I am still recovering from a knee injury. So I've got to keep things a little shorter but we're gonna have a lot of fun so let's go ahead and get started and if you are not already subscribed to this channel do the thing all right so it starts with stomp spank step heel so it's kind of like a paradiddle so this may be an introduction to a new step for some of you guys which is really really cool it's kind of like a paradiddle which goes dig spank step heel. but instead of doing the dig you're gonna go and then not put any weight on it, and then spank, step. Now, if that really throws you off and you just wanna get through this to learn the choreography, totally fine, do a paradiddle. But if you want that accent there, it's really, really cool. I call these like, sometimes I call these stomp -a diddles I don't know what other people call these when you add the stomp to it, but I've heard many, many different names for it. I've just forgotten them. But it is a stomp, no weight on it, so instantly my toe comes up, Spank step heel. So it's going to start with stomp, spank, step, heel, and then you put all of your weight into that heel and make your left foot free. So let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. Stomp, spank, step, heel. Good. From there, you have two more step heels. Step, heel, step, heel. So you have stomp, spank, step, heel, step, heel, step, heel. So you're going to switch feet. So let's try adding that. Five, six, Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. One more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Your left foot is free. You're going to do three drawbacks. If you've never done a drawback before, that's okay. I have a step tutorial on how to do drawbacks. You just go click the, li click the link. Not clink the link. <laughs> you click the link down in the description below and uh, that'll take you to my step tutorial playlist. Search for the one that says drawbacks. You get to learn that step right from that video and then come back when you are ready. I'll go over it a little bit here as well. So your left foot's free because you just did so that, that last step heel. You put all of your weight into your right foot and your left foot is free. You're going to step brush heel so you step left, brush right, drop the left heel. And that's the order that it has to go in. So you're going to go one and a. Uh, and then you have it on the right foot, two and a. Uh, then you do it again on the left foot, three and a. Uh, and then you toe. So that last part is step, brush, heel, step, brush, heel, step, brush, heel, toe. So if the brush messes you up. And like I said, this is a very, very beginner combination. If you need the option just to get through the choreography, you can keep doing step heel, take the brush out. So you would do the first part. Stomp, spank, step, heel, step, heel, step, heel. Now you're going to move back with your step heels, three of them and a toe. One and two and three and four. So that's only if you want to take the brush out. Totally fine. So barring that, it is. Step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, toe. I say brush and spank interchangeably sometimes, but it's I step brush or step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, toe. So let's do that, just that part. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, brush, heel, step, brush, heel, step, brush, heel, toe. Good. Notice I'm not putting any weight on that toe. It's staying up. So let's put those two lines together and see what happens. Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, toe. Now, 
Now, what's really, really fun about that is that if you're doing the drawbacks, you're doing two completely different rhythms. The first rhythm is one and two and three and four and. Very, very straight eighth notes. After that, the drawbacks make triplets. Five and a, six and a, seven and a, eight. So, make sure you're focused on the switch of rhythms. So, let's try that with music a couple times. Just to make sure we got this opening. Like I said, it's a very short combination, but short and sweet, I promise. Practice with me as many times as you need to, and then meet me at the next part when you're ready. That's why I love this being a video. But for the purposes of filming, last time before we move on. So there's two different ways. It always just depends on the choreographer. So this is going to be either stamp chug chug or stamp chug chug. Do you see the difference? In the first one, I lifted my left foot all the way off the floor and I stamped and then I just scoot forward and drop my heel twice. In the second option, you leave some of your weight in your left foot and you don't transfer all your weight to the working foot until, which is the right foot in this case, until you finish the last chug. Stamp, chug, chug. Now all my weight's there, but I shared the weight between the two feet until I got there. It's completely up to you, whichever one you want to do. It's the same move. It's just you're either keeping your weight between both legs or immediately transferring to that first. So stamp, chug, chug. Now, regardless of whether your foot's in the air or if it's on the ground, what I need to make sure everyone does is have that left toe ready because you're going to brush it back or spank it back, pas de bure. ball, change, spank. So I call it either pas de bure like in ballet or jazz because it's basically pas de bure, or it's a ball change step. So you have this ball, change, and then, and I'm putting my whole foot on the ground for the accent as well as stability. So, you have one and two, remember you're going to brush, ball, change, step. So let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Cool, let's try that again. 
five, six, seven, eight. We have one and two, three and four. Awesome. From there, we have two buffaloes. So we have step, shuffle, jump, cross, step, shuffle, jump, cross. Again, if you've never done a buffalo before, that is also in my step tutorial playlist. So back to, where were we? Stamp, chug, chug, stamp, out of your way. Right, I was talking about buffaloes. So we have step, shuffle, jump, cross, step, shuffle, jump, cross. Five and six, seven and eight. So let's try putting those together. With the buffalo, it's step right, shuffle left, jump cross, cross right over left, and then do it again. Step right, shuffle, jump and put it in front with a little flex. All right, so stamp, chug, chug, spank, pas de bourre, step, shuffle, cross, step, shuffle, cross. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. Good, one more time. Five, six, seven, go. You have one and two and three and four. Five and a six, seven and a eight. Good. Okay, so let's try adding that little piece and see how the piece progresses from there. We got this. tutorials and I feel kind of bad because I usually want to put out like longer ones but I gotta be good to the knee so last time before we move on to the last section Don't go like step, step, heel, heel, and then toe, toe, heel, heel, because you're going to end up 
in this position, which is not very easy to tap from. Try to keep it kind of small and under your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a much more manageable position. So let's try that together. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step, step, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. Good. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. We have one and two. Good. From here, you have two paradiddles. Ding, spike, step, heel, ding, spike, step. So nice, two slow paradiddles, no stomp involved. So let's add that to the cramp roll. Five, six, seven, eight. We have one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and Good. Okay, so the very, very last line. You're going to reverse the cramp roll, and then instead of paradiddles, we're gonna do shuffle diddles or shuffle step heels, but I'll explain. So you just did step, step, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, and then you did ding, spike, step, heel, ding, spike, step, heel. Now we're gonna take the cramp roll and reverse it. Dig, dig, toe, toe. So you have one, and two, and. Now you move your heels out first, heel, heel, and then toes. So let's just do that. Dig, dig, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe. Five, six, seven, eight. It's one and two and three and four. Good. Okay, from there, the last part, instead of paradiddle, so dig, spank, step, heel, we have shuffle, step, heel. Brush, brush, step, heel, brush, brush, step. So, Let's try from the cramp roll, the, the reverse cramp roll, to the shuffle step heel. Let's see if we can put that together. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. eight. Good. Okay, let's take the last two lines and put them together. And then we'll walk through the whole thing from the top. Then we'll do it with music. Ready? Five, six, cramp roll. Five, six. Seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and reverse, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good. Okay, so let's walk through the whole thing from the top, and we'll do it with music. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. You have one, and two. transition or two. This should fit right on the chorus of the song no matter which chorus you're doing. So it's exactly enough to fit like that half of the chorus. So let's try it again. I mean the original is what I mean. <laughs>
right, let's do it one last time together. You can do this as many times as you want to. It's a video. You can practice this as many times as you want to all day, all night. It's up to you. And this video, I live in your phone. So I live on your computer. I live in your phone. You can access this and practice anytime, as many times as you want to. But for the purposes of filming, last time, which means make it fun. This is one of the last ones for spooky season this year that I'm doing, so I'm definitely going to add a little extra fun, and it would be awesome if you did too. So, let's have some fun. situation today because the music cut out during one of my let's run through it takes and that was the one take I hit that beat perfectly and I have to cut it out of this video because the rest of the take didn't go well and I'm so annoyed by it I might just put it on the internet or like put it on patreon or something and be like this is the moment where I did it right and it didn't make it on the film all because the music decided to cut out halfway through, like a perfect run too. And I'm like, yes, let's make me do this more, more times. Let's do it. It happens a lot. I don't know why it does that, but anyway, um, I just thought I'd share that. I did finally get it. That last time I'm not sure about it. I was like, I think I got it, but there was a time that you didn't see that I did it. So anyway, it's not even that big of a deal. Um, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. We've got technique exercises like uh, the step tutorials like I mentioned earlier. We've got choreography tutorials like this one. We've got vlogs and challenges and all kinds of stuff on this channel. And I absolutely love making you these tutorials. So thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of this channel. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the longer I get to do this. So thank you so much. And also, while you're hitting that subscribe button, Hit the thumbs up button because it helps all tap dance channels because it tells the YouTube algorithm that people love tap dance and we want it to know that. So subscribe, thumbs up, happy Halloween, and as always, thank you for dancing with me.